guest tonight is one of the best crime novelists around today. He has written numerous books, including the autobiographical My Dark Places, and uh, his book, L.A. Confidential, is now a major motion picture. A lot of people say it's going to win a bunch of Oscars. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome James Elroy. <laughs> Great. Thanks for dressing up for the show. Good to Thank have you. Thank you, Tony. Thank you. How's yeah. the hammer hanging? It's good. Doing yeah, real good. Gone. Yeah. All right. <laughs> You're creeping me out already. I like it. I we're like not it. we're not seven seconds into the interview and you come walking out here in your crazy hat and your weird attitude and I'm loving it. This is a show, Conan, for the whole family. <laughs> this it's the never name was. Of your family is the Manson family. Ba doom boom. <laughs> Now let's talk. First of all, congratulations. L.A. Confidential. Uh, great book. Great movie. And that never happens in L.A. They always take a really great book and make the crappiest movie you ever saw. This is a good movie. Seven years ago, they optioned the damn thing. Mm -hmm. I figured they'd never make it. If they did, I figured they'd screw it up past redemption. Mm -hmm. And I should keep my mouth shut because I sold the film rights. Mm -hmm. Now I'm in the enviable position of being able to go out and endorse the hell out of this thing. Because it's a good movie. You, you like movie. it. You don't have to sell your soul to endorse this movie. I did sell my soul, but they retrieved it for me when they executed this movie so well. All right. All right. Very well done. Very well said. As um, good as the movie is, yes. yeah. the book is better. <laughs> uh, you have a big modesty thing you have to overcome. Now, uh, let's talk about it. We had Russell Crowe mm -hmm. on the show a couple of weeks ago. He's one of the leads in this right. movie. He's a great actor, does an amazing job. We're talking to him, and he told me an anecdote that you, during the filming of the movie, I don't know if it was to inspire him mm -hmm. or why, would call up Russell Crowe and leave strange messages. Woof, on... woof, hear the demon dog bark. He's got a 12-inch for that glows in the dark. His brain is big, but his is bigger. His right-wing fingers on the nuclear trigger. Yes, my friends, hear this ode. I porked a lizard and a lobster and a horny toad. I'm the king of writers, woof, woof, woo, woo. I got a girlfriend strung out on glue. <laughs> Russell Crowe. You realize, by the way, that tonight when people watch the show, that's going to be one long beep. <laughs> it's going to be like, yeah, I'll tell you what it is. There's an It'll last rate. exactly a minute. There's an R-rated version of that. That's okay. I think we just heard it. Uh, <laughs> now, you're getting famous now. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, of course, you've, your fame has been growing in stages, but now with a, a movie that will probably rack up some, uh, some Oscars behind you. Are you getting groupies? I have women chasing me left, right, and center. Mm -hmm. And This is before they hear uh, the creepy poem, right? Seven, eight years ago, mm -hmm. before I met my wife, I would have welcomed this, but I'm totally devoted to my wife. And my wife has a way of dealing with these women. Mm -hmm. She puts the hex of the cougar woman on them. <laughs> the flying paws of death. And each and every one of these women who wants to jump my bones immediately turns into a dyke. <laughs> yeah. you know? Whenever I talk to you, yeah. whenever I talk yeah. to you, it always feels like I've picked up an obscene phone call. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always talking to you, and I'm like any other interview, I'm asking normal questions, and you're going, That's right, baby, the demon gold towel. I, and I always feel like, have I kept him on long enough to trace the call? We've got to find this guy. People have attributed the recent rise in the lesbian population to Ellen DeGeneres' heroic coming out of the closet. Mm -hmm. Wrong. No, 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 and no. It's the hex of the cougar woman. So you every person out there, every woman out there who's a lesbian is a lesbian because they were once attracted to you and your yes. wife put this hex on them. That's exactly right. Perfectly rational answer. It is, it uh, is. And very male, I might say. Very good. Um, I gotta ask you this. <laughs> it's just too good. I gotta ask you this. I noticed that on the back of your book, American Tabloid, yes. which uh, is one of my... Time Magazine's Novel of the Year, 1995. That was 1995. Yeah. What have you done lately? My Dark Places. New York Times Book of the Year, mm -hmm. 1996, Time Magazine Book of the Year, 1996. Mm -hmm. A book for the whole family. 
if the name of your family is the O.J. Simpson family. I'm curious, how many variations on that joke do you have? The name of your family. Book for the whole family. And then, well, yeah, a book for the whole family, the and then plug in any family name. The Jeffrey Dahmer oh, family. Oh, you got a million of them. The what? Borgia family. Save it for the Tonight Show, let them in, you got more to do. They won't put me on. They won't put you no. on? No. Why won't they put you on? Because I'm a C-list guy, which is why I do this show. <laughs> I have supported you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. For three years. Three and a half, John. Three and a half. I, every time you have a novel out, I put you on the yeah. show and talk to you. Yeah. You come out here, yeah. you talk like a freak. <laughs> you, you act like a freak. Yeah. You wear the, coos, the crazy hat. It's just definitely first year of MASH. <laughs> and all I do is support you, and you come out, and you expose this show you for the C-list show that it is. You have the quality demographic. It is well known that people that watch the Conan O'Brien show are the smartest, the best paid, the most well <laughs> and altogether the hippest, the coolest, and the swingiest. The people who watch the other shows drool, the people who watch Conan O'Brien rule. You are the greatest man who ever lived, in my opinion. <laughs> my Dark Places, which I, I, you know, I've read all your books. The only who else guy. Reads the book. The only guy I read reads the book. The books. Because I have nothing better to do. <laughs> my Dark Places in LA Confidential and Bookstores now. Um, you're welcome back anytime. My pleasure. Uh, talk to Wardrobe next time before you come out. <laughs> uh, you know what this thing's made out of? What's it made of? The top dyed pubic hair of one breed of yak indigenous to one mountain in the Himalayas. $87,000 retail. You know what I love? I didn't learn my lesson. You asked me, you know where this sweater's made? And I said, where? <laughs> That's the best part. Thinking he's going to say, I don't know. I think Scotland. But it feels good. All right, uh, James Elroy, it's always uh, one of the more compelling uh, interviews uh, in television. Thanks so much for coming back. Don't bite. We'll take a break. Stick around.